Today, we're diving into the latest and greatest from Samsung, One UI 7.0, based on Android 15. We've had a sneak peek at some exciting new features, from redesigned icons to a revamped camera UI, and even some long-awaited under-the-hood changes. If you're eager to try One UI 7.0, the wait might not be too long. According to Ice Universe, the first beta could be released by the end of July or early August. Galaxy S24 users will be the first to experience this update, followed by the S23 users with a gradual rollout to other supported Samsung devices. Let's kick things off with the fresh new look of One UI 7.0. Samsung has introduced new icons for various system apps. The gallery icon, for instance, now sports a rainbow design, giving a nod to iOS while still maintaining Samsung's unique style. Both light and dark mode icons are available, ensuring a consistent aesthetic regardless of your theme preference. The new camera icon also follows this trend and in my opinion looks quite sleek. Speaking of the camera, One UI 7.0 brings a brand new camera UI. All the essential controls, such as changing megapixels or video resolution, are conveniently placed at the bottom of the screen. This design choice not only makes the interface cleaner but also more user-friendly, as everything is within easy reach. The top of the interface is kept minimalistic, featuring only the flash and megapixel settings, which can be adjusted according to your needs. Samsung seems to be taking a page from Apple's playbook with a UI that allows for bigger and bolder icons, reminiscent of iOS. There's also a new battery percentage indicator inside the icon, another feature similar to iOS. The good news is that you should be able to customize this setting to your liking. But that's not all. One UI 7.0 is introducing a feature I've been hoping for since One UI 6.0, live activities and a version of Dynamic Island. For those unfamiliar, live activities provide real-time notifications of ongoing processes, such as tracking your Uber ride. While we created a concept of how Samsung might implement this last year, the exact look and feel of these features in One UI 7.0 remain to be seen. Beyond these visual and functional updates, One UI 7.0 is touted as the smoothest version of One UI to date, thanks to a fully revamped animation system. This means not only better aesthetics, but also improved performance, making your overall experience more enjoyable. Despite these changes, Ice Universe assures us that One UI 7.0 retains its distinct Samsung identity, so you won't feel like you're suddenly using an iPhone. One of the most exciting aspects of One UI 7.0 is the introduction of enhanced Galaxy AI features. The standout among these is the fully AI-powered Bixby, promising to bring more intelligent and responsive interactions. As we approach the launch of the iPhone 16, Samsung is upping its game, ensuring that the S24 series and other devices, including the latest Galaxy Fold series, are equipped with cutting-edge AI capabilities. So there you have it. A comprehensive look at the new elements in One UI 7.0, from fresh icons and a sleek camera UI to innovative features like live activities and improved animations. It's clear that Samsung is making significant strides enhancing both the look and functionality of its devices. I'm particularly excited about the live activities feature, which adds a dynamic and interactive element to the user experience. What are your thoughts on these updates? Are you looking forward to trying One UI 7.0? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more updates and insights on the latest tech. As always, see you in the next video. We've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. 
The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices one leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.